so these are definitely doing better than what I thought they were going to do. Honestly, selling them while they're hot right now, while everyone's talking about them, isn't a bad idea. But I do. Hey man, say man, it's Armand Two Real in the cut on the mic. As you can see, and today we're gonna be discussing is the uh, White Thunder Force a good hold or sell? So yeah, let's dive in right in this video. We'll just dive right into this video. Just drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And yeah, let's get right into it. Right now, I'm gonna pop up market real quick. Let me look it up real quick. Okay, boom. Right now, market is kind of. I was kind of spot on with my predictions. Market is is ranging from like 240, really like 250 low. It like yeah, around like 240 to like $300 in my size, 12 and a half, around 315 on GOAT, it's going for like 340. So yeah, that's probably the best size that's doing the best right now. And also a size five and a half is doing surprisingly pretty well. Like last day was 350 in that. So that's honestly a good size apparently, I guess. I don't know, size five and a half men's. I don't know who's wearing a size five and a half men's, but apparently they're paying up. But yeah, that's kind of surprising. But this pair actually is a really like decent shoe. I haven't got them in hand yet. I did hit on the sneakers app. I might pop up that got them, might not. I hit on a 12 and a half, my personal size. I just like went in. I didn't think I was going to get them. And I got hit with that got them. So that was pretty surprising for me. Apparently stock numbers was pretty low on these. Like they weren't that hard. I went to like a mall yesterday to go see if like they had any leftovers at any stores. Well, this mall is not like a big mall or anything. So I didn't really expect them to have like leftovers. But they, they literally didn't have any leftovers. They only had like kid sizes, like four and four and a half, like all the bad sizes. They didn't have any men's left. So this pair literally sold out everywhere on sneakers for sure. I saw like my size literally was the first one to sell out because like I literally saw stock numbers and there was only like 3,000 pairs that dropped on sneakers in 12 and a half. So that was like pretty low. And there was like a total of like 77,000, I think, total pairs that dropped on the sneakers app. So that is kind of like why this pair is like pretty high right now. Because for example, this pair right here, this pair right here, if they didn't drop like a million pairs of these, these would be like a $400 shoe easily. But since they dropped so many pairs, like that just shows you how uh, stock numbers usually has all to do with it. I can't wait to get my pair in hand. I'm gonna do a little unboxing video. So stay tuned, drop a like. We'll drop a sub and notice and drop a like, but you know, drop the notification bell so you don't like miss that video. I'm gonna drop an unboxing video, me unboxing my pair. I got around like three pairs. I got a 12 on a Champs app and then I didn't I didn't grab as many pairs as I really wanted to. Like I should have uh, did more in-store pickups, but I didn't go that hard on these because I didn't think they were gonna do that well because like prior to release day, go check out my video. Um, I did a Thunder 4 like kind of uh, how to cop video, which is kind of irrelevant some of the info, but it's still relevant because I kind of, like I was literally spot on with the resale prediction. I said 240 to like 260 or 280 or something like that. I see these doing probably 230 like some size is going for like 10 bucks over and my estimated resale is 230 to 2 260 i want to say 230 to 260 at like on release day i wonder when people take l's will prices rise or will prices go down and they're pretty much doing that most sizes like size 12 right now is going for 270 i have a size 12 coming in and then i have a my personal size size 12 and a half coming in and then i just bought a size 9 so i have about three pairs Nothing too crazy. And then I also hit on a size seven grade school. I didn't think I was going to hit on those. I thought they were going to brick uh, grade school. Let me pop up grade school market real quick. Yeah, right now a size seven Y is going for 205, which is pretty dang good for a grade school Jordan 4. Like this shoe, people are saying this shoe is like saving the resale game, which it kind of is right now. Like resellers are definitely eating a little bit on this pair for sure. I mean, I know I got like three pairs and that's decent profit. I know like compared to me, compared to some other people, some people got like 40 pairs for retail. So that's pretty crazy. Some people went crazy on this drop, but it was kind of an easy bet on this pair. Apparently people do like basic things. Like whenever the yellow thunders came out, I'm sure they're probably similar stock numbers. I don't know. Maybe they dropped more of the yellow ones. I might go grab those real quick. Hold on, let me go grab those. Okay, but they dropped these 2023. So that was last year. And this pair is actually really nice. Like how the yellow and black hits. It's like a bumblebee type color, which is really nice as a size 12. If you want a size 12 in these, me up on Instagram or Monty Reels in the description down below. But back on, if these are a good hold, these did well. For example, when these first dropped, they were a brick. They were not doing as good as these White Thunders. So I'm kind of what I'm trying kind of trying to say is the White Thunders. Uh, I guess people just like basic stuff more than like out because it's kind of like harder to wear because it's like a yellow. But these White Thunders are very easy to wear. Like that's kind of why they're doing so well. I think they're just really like they just hit the white and the black just hits really well. It's like a piano type color and just really nice. So these these are definitely doing better than what I thought they were gonna do. Honestly selling them while they're hot right now while everyone's talking about them isn't a bad idea 
but I do see these possibly going up. I see these doing similar numbers to the bread we imagines, but let me take a sip of water real quick. Okay, but yeah, this shook right here, like this is a lot harder to wear than the ones that just dropped. So I think that's why these are not going for much. Like I think, uh, well actually, no, that's not true. These are going for around these, it caused, this release caused these to go up in price though, because this size 12 is going for around 300 bucks. It was going for like 280 a couple days ago. So it's went up to two, $300. So I guess people are going to try to complete the pack, which makes sense. So yeah, honestly, if this shoe could be a $300 shoe when it was a brick when it released, this white, this white thunder can definitely be a $400 shoe down the line. I'm not trying to get no one's hopes up, but th that, I definitely see the shoe aging pretty well. They didn't drop a million pairs of these, which is good. I know a lot of people are saying, uh, don't buy resale. Uh, restocks are on the way. Well, they just did the, the release. So they're not going to restock them like in two days or nothing like that. You might see like, you know, uh, places like Shoe Palace or DTLR, they might restock like a bad size, like a size eight or something like that, which size eight in these, in the White Thunders is not doing that bad actually. So that's pretty surprising. You might see like a couple, you know, retailers pop them up, but bots are just eating them like immediately. They're going to be hard to hit like a restock, but not trying to, you know, get no one you know not trying to worry anyone but yeah like this pair they just did the release so i wouldn't expect a restock to come i know they for the bread reimagines i see these doing similar to these like these when they're when they first released they're doing like around the same numbers around like 300 dollars in most sizes 280 and like you know smaller ones uh i remember uh, i remember i sold both my pairs at god sold miami for like 300 a piece yeah, I sold them for around 300 a piece and people there were selling them for like 320, getting sales actually for 320 on like release day. So this pair right here, I see these doing similar to the White Thunder 4s and I see also like, you know, White Thunder 4s will definitely age. If these can age well, the Yellow Thunders, these white ones can definitely age way better because I think they dropped less of the White Thunders than they did of these, but I could be wrong on that. They might have did similar numbers. I'm not completely sure how much they dropped of these. I wasn't too into like sneakers at the time whenever these dropped, but hold on a sec. But I, like I was saying, I wasn't too much into sneakers whenever these dropped in 2023. I was still like into sneakers, obviously, but I wasn't keeping up with like what was dropping and like, you know, st like how much stuff was going for on StockX. I just didn't really care like that. But now, you know, I'm a little bit more into it and more like tuned in. But yeah, I say these White Thunders are an easy hold, but also it's not, it's not going to be bad to sell your pairs right now as they're hot. I heard uh, this reseller, well, shout out, ooh, RIP to Upscale Crack, if you know, you know. Um, he literally just he said in like a youtube video i'm not sure where he was pretty much like giving like reseller knowledge like because he's obviously was a successful reseller he had a store in nyc and stuff like that he kind of said holding is not the move you know like holding shoes is like yeah most shoes don't like you know when you hold them they usually go down honestly over time but a jordan 4 jordan 4s usually do pretty well especially if it's a solid colorway and if they don't drop a million pairs like the military blues even these right here don't sleep on these these are still a decent hold don't be i see a lot of people i watch the event videos and they'll be kicking off their military blues for 200 dollars taking a 30 dollar l you're gonna regret that in a year and a half because you're gonna look at military blue market and you'll be like damn a size 12 is going for 320 holy i could have held my pair you know made a little hundred bucks but i understand you know not everyone wants to do that not everyone wants to hold a pair for a year just to make a hundred bucks which doesn't make sense if you only have one like size 12 don't hold it for a year just to make an extra hundred bucks but if you got the money like that i guess like if you don't really need to sell it might as well just hold it but yeah the white thunders i definitely see them being an easy hold definitely for christmas time i see them going up but yeah they might do a restock kind of like the bread reimagines but keep in mind, they didn't do a restock for the Bread or Imagines until like a couple months later. And when they did, they didn't drop like 100,000 pairs for the restock. But they didn't even drop 100,000 pairs for the White Thunders off like the main release that just happened two days ago. Hold on, let me take a sip of water. But yeah, like I was saying, my size, I was thinking about towing my 12 and a half. But honestly, like I saw the White Thunders whenever they previewed like months ago, like literally like four months ago. I remember people saying, oh, that's not real. That's just like pretty much a yellow thunder. But they took off the color like mode on the editing. So I didn't even think this was really gonna come out, but they did, which is um, kind of crazy to see because I saw the mock-up like months ago and I was like, ah, oh, I pass on that, it's too mid for me. But a lot of people like basic stuff, obviously, because look at market, there's been like 8,000 sales in the past couple days on StockX, 8,200 uh, sales in the past three days, really 80, pushing 8,300. So that's a crazy amount of sales. A lot of people were saying, um, this is like, hold on a sec, yo. Yeah, 8,000 sales in three days is pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie, excuse the language, but yeah, I'm, you know, um, anyways, let's get into this video. Well, what am I saying? Let's get back into the topic. Are they a good hold or sell? I would say they're a good hold, but honestly, selling them while they're hot right now, why everyone's like, you know, there's been 8,000 sales in the last three days, so they're obviously very hot right now. Looks like not many people hit on sneakers and made a lot of people not hitting retailers neither because a lot of retailers didn't get them unless it's like a bigger mall. Like in my area, only like the big malls got them. Like, like the smaller malls didn't get many stock and if they did, only one or two stores out of like the four retailers in the mall got this pair. So they were a little bit more limited. 
but yeah i would say selenite's hot but also if you know if you have a good size like for example i got a 12 and a half which is my personal size i was gonna think about doing an on-fee review but looking at market on 12 and a half i'd rather just hold it and uh if they do a restock i don't think i don't see them dropping many 12 and a half so i think a 12 and a half is a solid size to hold on to for at least you know till christmas and maybe even long term i mean i could definitely see this being a decent long term hold if they're already in the 12 and a half uh, like 350 on goat and like 315 on stock x yeah this could definitely be a 400 dollars shoe next year just saying so especially in bigger sizes like a 12 11 and a half 11 12 and a half yeah this is, this is definitely a decent hold but also if you want to sell my top get your profit and put it towards a better drop that's going to be coming out because there's going to be other jordan fours coming out like the four fours like the wait, what am i saying the fear fours the blacksmith threes are coming out i'm gonna see if those flip apparently they're gonna be like a super gr so i feel like the blacksmith threes are kind of gonna be kind of like the military blues it's an og colorway that a lot of people want so they're probably going to push out a lot of pairs but we'll see maybe they'll push out like similar to bread reimagined numbers which that would be actually i did see a rumor that they're only they're going to be like only putting out like 300k pairs on sneakers or something like that so if they do that they might still flip and then you know uh, the, the sneaker game still might be booming on the aftermarket i know a lot of people don't like resellers and stuff like that but hey you know you gotta get your money somehow so um if you i'm you know anyways uh yeah so that's all i really had to talk about seller hold white thunder force i'd say if you have good sizes it wouldn't hurt to hold on to but if you can get an offer like a solid offer like 300 bucks sell it you know get your money that's easy 50 like 60 bucks after um taxes and stuff like 70 bucks really if you, yeah because it's like 230 after tax and here in america so if yeah if you can sell for 300 just take that 70 bucks and put it towards a better drop because i mean unless you just have like a bunch of pairs you want to like do a long-term hold which hey holding and you know like holding shoes nowadays it could be a it could be a hit or miss you know because they might do a restock and that that might put the prices down but even if they do a restock on these they didn't re release too many on the general release like the main release just happened two days ago so if you really think a restock is going to hurt the prices you're wrong because they're not going to restock more than what they put out they're not going to restock twenty thousand pairs they're going to restock if nike does a restock look at kobe day that just happened i, I should have made a video on kobe day i was going to do it but i, I did i said i'd unbox the on my three so go check out that unboxing on the on my threes um i did a little unboxing on that so i i was going to do the in a video that day on the kobe's but i just decided just to do on the all my threes i was on friday but hold on let me take a sip of water real quick but yeah that's, look at the, what they did on the kobe's though i have a pair of uh kobe a emerald size 12 that i've been holding on to for a while and whenever i saw that they're going to re-release the emeralds that kind of hurt me but you know it didn't hurt market at all because it only dropped like 200 pairs which is nothing for out of the tens of thousands of people it's like really like probably a hundred thousand people were on the app more than that for, to get the uh, pair of kobe's on kobe day so that wasn't really a kobe day that was like a very small slim restock of like literally a couple hundred pairs for each one they weren't dropping thousands of pairs and i see them doing the same that's what nike does they don't do massive restocks like how they do with like a dunk or something like that like obviously a panda dunk or something they might do because like that's not like a that's not like a retro or nothing you know it's just a normal shoe basic shoe that they can obviously put out a lot of pairs of you know that's not gonna um do nothing really Ooh, it obviously will hurt the resale but anyways hold or sell white thunder force i already let y'all know what i think i think these are a decent hold but also if you can get a good profit go ahead and do that so yeah i'm gonna end off the video here drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell all that good stuff i think that's all i had to talk about so yeah peace